hey, we're here with Jason Martinez. He's the rough matchmaker, the rough uh, operations manager, the rough fucking everything, but, you know, uh, selecting venues and uh, paying fighters, right? That's how we uh, decided it? That's right, except for the Glendale Civic Center's mine. Oh, and you know what? That was badass, by the way. That was badass. That was fun. I can't wait to get back. It was a great card, man. It was a great card. Thank you, thank you. We'll be there. We'll be back there for jujitsu, hopefully in the summer, and uh, MMA in the fall. Yeah, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna drop another show there in September. All right. So <laughs> stay tuned. Well, we're always tuned in to rough. Okay, <laughs> we're always tuned in. So, well, especially me, but I got a vested interest. You know what I mean? So. Uh, I want to get to Rough 39, I believe. Okay. Oh, the Battle at the Arrows is what you guys are dubbing the card, correct? Battle at the Arrows. Yes. The Twin Arrows. It's over at the Twin Arrows Casino in Flagstaff, Arizona, taking place March 14th, which is this Saturday. And if I do say so myself, you guys have a pretty fucking badass card. We do. Once again, I'm really happy about this one. <clears throat> we got some former UFC vets on there. We got Effie Escudero on there, who is a season eight tough winner. And uh, he is not battling any slouch at all in Zach Jusola, the juice. Um, and so I'm like, I'm not kidding. A candy store. I told you I'm a fan before anything. And so when I get stuff like this, it's just it's even better. Like I like I'm so stoked, but that's just like that's like the icing on an already fat cake of a card <laughs> that I'm super well, stoked about. See, and if you all my listeners know, I'm a fat kid at heart, right? Like <laughs> I'm really only 180 pounds on the outside. On the inside, I'm pushing 350. I'm pushing <laughs> 350. OK, and you are 100 percent accurate in your assessment. This is a fucking great main event. Jusola, uh, uh, he's he's dabbled in the bare knuckle boxing. I mean, this kid does it all. This kid yep. does it all. And then you talk about credentials. Efren Escadero, USC vet. Uh, he won tough. I, 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 didn't he coach tough? Yes, he did. Yes, the guy's fucking seen everything. You know what I mean? This is a great main event. And then in your co-main event, let's go ahead. Right. Tony Lopez versus Jared Mandara for the heavyweight rough title. This will be a, def a title defense by Tony Lopez. This will be, uh, I believe, a rematch between these two. Right? I believe so. Let's go wow. back in history. Let's go back in history. Well, uh, you have, a, yes. he's got a long history, Tony Lopez. <laughs> he's this will be a rematch. This will be a rematch. And the last time they met, uh, Jared got the best of him. So Tony's well, looking for a redemption here and to hold on to his rough heavyweight title belt. So you know this is not going to be a disappointing one at all. Well, not only that, but look, Tony's fans know that Tony's going to fight every other weekend, right? <laughs> like, that's just a given. That's just yeah, a given. Here. Okay. He is literally defending his title on short notice. Who the, who the fuck does this? Tony Lopez is the only guy I know that, that you can the call. Only and like, want to defend your title next week? Hell yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And look, Vandera, that dude's an animal. That dude is an animal. Even in the fights that he loses, like it's it's a war. It's it's bloody. It's it's everything you'd want. You know what I mean? Even in his losses, the guy is you know putting on memorable performances. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I like I said, I couldn't be more stoked about this fight, man. <clears throat> this the two the co-main and the main event, like like I said, the kid in the candy store, man. And uh, we just added um, because uh, our last event we were unable to get Madrigal versus Foss uh, through the door. Um, we were able to move that one over to this card as well. So that will be the first part of our pro card for Twin Arrows. Will be Josh Madrigal. Um, and Brandon Foss making his pro MMA debut at 125. Now, I talked to both guys, 
Okay. Yeah, and good. both guys were eager to fight each other then. I think uh, this is going to be a pretty badass uh, debut for Foss. The guy really, really, he was like all business, all business. All the other guys, like maybe there was a joke or two. He's just like, <laughs> right. I'm here. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this guy, and it was just like, okay, dude, like, you fucking, like, what am I supposed to do over here? I'm usually like the you know crack a joke guy. I didn't want to around him. He was just, he was ready to go right there, and I'm just like, eh, hey, you know what? He may be a flyweight, but still kick my ass. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, those so, guys are ready. I'm excited about those two. For hell sure. yeah, hell yeah. All right, now let's talk about your amateur card. We got a couple titles. Uh, we got another yeah. fight that was moved from 38 to 39. So, I mean, we've got it all on the undercard as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yes, the other fight that was moved from 38 to 39 was a Mashante Mailboy and Darren Martinez um, at heavyweight. Uh, we got two proud Native Warriors uh, that are ready to fight. They've been chomping at the bit um, for weeks. And so we got this one moved up to Flagstaff. Um, and so I'm, um, I'm, I'm pumped to see this one again because I was, I was looking forward to it last time. So we, we're always working to make shit happen. And so we were able to move this one. And, and like I said, Fox and Madrigal back up to Flagstaff. Uh, I don't like, uh, letting fights go. And so I was able to get both of these up there. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, I also got <clears throat> Jesse Robertson versus James Sanchez. James Sanchez came off a um a very close uh loss at uh, 38 um from arizona combat sports he's a he's a great grappler he's really he's becoming more well-rounded super mm -hmm. nice kid he's going against jesse robertson from up north uh i don't know a lot about jesse robertson right now i know he's got a huge following as soon as uh he started talking about his fight like um facebook and and instagram started popping really big so i'm 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 excited to work with this kid from up north He's amped to go. Um, so I'm looking forward to that fight at 155. Uh, Jesse Robinson versus James Sanchez. Eric Duong and Duke too. So Duke is from, uh, is coming with the Team Extreme Couture from Las Vegas. And nope. so we are super happy to have that whole team. Zach's included in that group. And uh, he's fighting a local kid from Flagstaff, which I've been trying to get a fighter from Flagstaff on the Flagstaff card for like two years. And finally, the planets lined up, and I got Eric Duong uh, from Insurgent, I believe, is the name of his gym, uh, at, in Flagstaff. And so we're happy to have a Flagstaff gym represented at Twin Arrows, a local fighter represented at Twin Arrows. I think he's bouncing back and forth between Flag and, and Phoenix right now. He's trying to get some more uh, diverse training in. Um, but he's originally from Flagstaff, so super pumped about that one. Yeah. Um, I have a uh, 155 title fight that I was that we got together in a hurry, and again, it was one of those situations where the planets kind of lined up. We got Mikey Lugo from Yuma Top Team over in California, um, who's coming to us <coughs> as a kind of an unknown, and uh, I've been trying to match up Cedric Katambwa from Arizona Combat Sports for a while, and and for some reason, it's difficult to get somebody to take on Cedric. And uh, um, I talked to him down at a, um, another event not too long ago and I let him know that I was always looking for him for something. And I finally able to come through with this kid from uh, Yuma Top Team and Mikey Lugo. Cedric is ranked number one in Arizona. And I uh, might, might even be a bigger um, pool than Arizona, but he's the number one ranked lightweight in the state, uh, hands down. And so um, our, our, our 155 belt has been vacant for a while for um, because the last title holder, uh, Ivan Tenna, moved up to pro. So he vacated the belt, uh, the amateur belt. The last fight that the belt was supposed to be for, the uh, fighters missed weight. And so it was not official, so it didn't count. Okay. And so it's, it's been vacant. So... Um, it's again, it's just serendipity that uh, Cedric was available, ready to go. And this kid from Yuma showed up ready to go. And so we have ourselves a, a lightweight title fight for rough. Finally, after the belt has been vacant for about a year and a half. Damn. You're talking about the planets aligning. That's that's a whole lot of alignment there. 
You're telling me. Shit ain't easy. <laughs> okay, and then uh, if my eyes do not deceive me, we got some women's bouts on this on this card here. Yes, finally, finally, finally. <laughs> it's like a breath of fresh air over here. Let's talk it about is. these women. It is. I'm uh, again. I'm a fan before everything. So uh, these two fights, I'm super proud of. Um, the the 115, the strawweight fight, Ariana Solis from Hitman Fighting Systems. Uh, you, everybody's going to say, who, what, where's that? Um, <laughs> so Hitman Fighting Systems, after the show, you're going to know what they're about. They're going to pop on the scene this year with some amateurs. Um, Ariana Solis is going to be the first one out the gate. And uh, just from my interactions with her coach and um, and their team and seeing how she's like uh, preparing for this, mm -hmm. Homegirl is coming to bring it, to put on a show, make a statement with, with her debut. Uh, so, and and this, and, and she couldn't get a better opponent in Maya Schmidt from uh, Jackson Wink. Maya Schmidt just had, uh, um, I believe, her first kickboxing match in New Mexico. And she has been training for a couple of years um, and kind of just fell in love with the whole process. Um, and <clears throat> so she is super excited to make her amateur debut uh, in MMA, so much so that um, there's a documentary film crew coming with her <laughs> to film this whole journey. They've been filming her training over at Jackson Wink in New Mexico. They're going to sure. film her journey out here to Arizona. They're gonna they're gonna do a uh, this full on documentary about uh, her journey into the MMA world and her debut fight um, at our venue at our event. So that that thing is just gonna bring so much uh, positive attention on her, uh, Jackson Wink, and to have a documentary film crew there working with us is gonna be is gonna be super cool. So we're really looking forward to that fight between Ariana Solis and Maya Schmidt, both their amateur MMA debuts. And both girls couldn't be coming more prepared. So I'm super stoked about this one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. And you guys actually do quite a bit of work with Jackson Week out there in New Mexico. Yes, we do. We do. We work really closely with uh, Seth Abeta, their amateur team coach, and Joey Villasenor, their pro team coach. And uh, I've been working with them for several years. <laughs> and so uh, every time we get a show in Flagstaff, they're usually fully on board. Um, we're probably going to have uh, some of their team show up for our May event too at Wild Horse Pass. So be looking out more for Jackson Wink in Arizona. All right. And then uh, you got a uh, women's flyweight here with uh, Veal Lobos and uh, Sydney. Let's talk about that one there. Yes. So this will be, um, uh, I believe, the first rough amateur women's title fight. That is, you guys are fucking. I'll have this, to. This card's ridiculous. I'll have to fact check that, but I'm pretty damn sure <laughs> that we have never had an amateur <laughs> female title fight. So I'm going to say this is Ruff's first AMI female title fight, and it's between Alien Villalobos from Jackson Wink MMA and Sydney Slick from Extreme Couture in Vegas, part of the team with yeah. Zach and uh duck too so again fireworks like if i had emojis popping my out of my head they, you know they would be like eyes bugging out like you know all kinds of stuff i'm super excited to to be able to host two caliber high caliber women's fights um and have one of them be for a title for sure that's like yeah. that's like awesome. this car's just absolutely ridiculous Absolutely. And, and it's not even a long card. You know what I mean? Usually your, your, your cards are 15, 20 deep. So, I, and it's, right. you can't, you can't fit any more awesome. <laughs> you really can't. <laughs> no, no, you like, really can't. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. This, uh, rough 39, uh, battle of the arrows takes place, uh, this Saturday, March 14th, over at the Twin Rivers Casino, Twin Rivers, yeah. Twin Arrows Casino in uh, Flagstaff, <laughs> Flagstaff, Arizona, headlined by Zach Jusola and Efren Escadero. And then we got uh, several title fights. Tony Lopez defending his rough heavyweight title 
versus Jared Vandera, and then a women's flyweight title between Vila Lobos and Slick, and then you've got uh, Katambua versus Lugo for the lightweight Amy title. Like, dude, what? <laughs> what? How? I'm telling you, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a better matchmaker. I appreciate it, man. I really, I really work hard. I, I bust my ass. I try to uh, give these guys the best customer service anybody can possibly give them. And uh, hopefully they recognize that and they uh, deliver when I need them to, man. And that's, uh, like I said, I'm a fan first. So it's all about making them happy and getting them the opportunities that they've been looking for. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, just speaking uh, from personal experience, okay, from personal experience, uh, when I go to rough events, there's typically not an easy fight. You know what I mean? So that shows that all these fights are very, very well matched. I mean, you do a very, very good job. Thank you. Thank you. I don't do it alone. My boss and Joel jumps in on me sometimes, but together we get it done, man. Well, like I said, you got rough 39 over at the Twin Arrows Casino in Flagstaff, Arizona. Less than a week away. Less than a week away. I couldn't be more pumped. Uh, where can we catch this thing uh, if we can't be there in person? That is to be announced shortly. Well, you can't you get any more shorter than this, boss. <laughs> We'll be dropping a um, uh, a streaming link soon. We're working on all that stuff. It's coming up. Stay tuned. All right. Well, like I said, this is a stacked card. Uh, you know, I can't be there, but get me that goddamn stream. You know what I'm saying? Get me that <laughs> goddamn stream because I need that shit. <laughs> I need it right here. <laughs> 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 All right, once again, uh, if, you can, rough- if you can, come to Flagstaff. It's going to be beautiful weather. The sun's going to be out. It might snow a little. It might rain a little. You get the whole experience. You get all the seasons in 24 in hours. Exactly. <laughs> in 24 hours. Well, I'm here with uh, Rough Matchmaker and uh, well, just everything. Just Rough Everything. Uh, Jason Martinez. Uh, talking about rough 39 it's gonna be it's gonna be an event it's gonna be an event you definitely don't want to miss so be there or be square be there that was more like a rectangle i didn't pass geometry i didn't Sorry. i didn't pass school you know what i mean i passed it on my way to failure walked right past it but i get it <laughs> I don't judge. All right, I don't judge. Well, you have a good night, and uh, I'm sure we'll be talking very soon. You as well. Thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, head kick audio for all that you do as well. Peace out. All right, man. Take it easy. Later. Okay.